Okay, I want to make a simple video showing a way that you can verify that the Earth is indeed round. And I'm going to talk you through my reasoning. Here we go. Uh, if you just looked at the northern hemisphere, uh, you can see there's not a whole lot of difference because the, the flat Earth model shows uh, the northern hemisphere in the center, and it's not very different. But if you look at the southern hemisphere, now the what's called the southern ocean which goes around antarctica now becomes this huge ring which encompasses all of what we call the northern hemisphere right here so it should be easy, easy to find differences between places that are in the southern hemisphere and one way you can do that is with a uh, by looking at a mercator map which stretches out things equally in the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere to represent a, a round globe on a flat surface, but in a, in a very different way than the than, uh, flat Earth model. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is by looking at two round-the-world trips, one in the northern hemisphere going from Shanghai to Los Angeles to New York City to Dubai and back to Shanghai, versus a round-the-world trip from Sydney, Australia, Santiago, Chile, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Johannesburg, and then back to Sydney. And on the flat Earth model, uh, it's pretty easy to tell that it's it would be a much, much longer trip doing this in the southern hemisphere between these cities in red versus the much shorter trip in the northern hemisphere. On the Mercator projection map, the ma the trips look about uh, equal, where because they're both about the same distance from the equator, and I tried to pick routes that would keep about the same distance from the equator, uh, so on a round Earth model, you expect the times to be about the same. While in the flat Earth model, the southern hemisphere around the world trip should take a lot longer. Uh, so what I did is you can you can check this yourself. I used the website Kayak and I mapped out uh, all eight of these trips: the four in the northern hemisphere and the four in the southern. Uh, here, example is Sydney to uh, Santiago, Chile. And going from Sydney to Santiago, Chile, um, it's between 12 and a half hours and 13 and a quarter hours. So I kind of averaged them out. And then I also looked at the reverse trip, which would be from Santiago to Sydney. That's longer because you're going against the, the prevailing headwinds there. And I mapped them all out and Shanghai to Los Angeles, Los Angeles, JFK, here we go. Um, and the total for that trip would be about 40 hours and 58 minutes. In the southern hemisphere, which the flat Earth model, which says should take much, much longer, actually is a slightly less, a little less than about an hour less. So, which makes no sense in a flat Earth model. So, here are the times all written out. If you want to pause this and take a look at those times and check them all you want, if you'd like. Um, one, just as an example, if you just want to look at a couple from New York to Dubai and Sydney to Santiago. On this map, it looks about right. They look about the same distance, and sure enough, they should take about the same amount of time. But on the flat Earth model, there's no way that the Sydney to Santiago trip should take just 10 minutes more than New York to Dubai. Um, if you were to measure this out, put your hand up to the screen, and you'll see that it's actually twice as long a line, the red one here. Um, if you want to check something even easier, from Los Angeles to Sydney, on a flat Earth model should take much less than going from Sydney to Santiago, right? It looks like maybe seven hours on this map. But in fact, if you actually look up the trip, it's actually a longer trip going from Los Angeles to Sydney. Uh, you average it out and it comes out to 14 hours and 32 going both directions uh, and cut it in half. So why on a flat Earth model can you explain would it take longer to go from Los Angeles to Sydney than it would take going from Santiago, Chile to Sydney? And that's ignoring the fact that if you were to go on a flat Earth model, you would expect to have to go over North America unless you went way around. And you would never go anywhere near, for example, New Zealand, which is off this map. Um, and that is the basics. But if you uh, want to just check, if you look on Google Earth, you can actually measure the distance between Los Angeles and Sydney. 12,050 miles, and Sydney to Santiago is 11,362, which explains why it's actually a shorter trip.